Recently, I made a tutorial on fixing memory integrity issues, and while it worked for many people, tech is never a one-size-fits-all situation. What works for some might not work for others. After digging deeper, I found that one of the common reasons behind this problem is Logitech software, or drivers conflicting with memory integrity. Now, just to be clear, I am not blaming Logitech in any way. The issue mostly happens with older versions of Logitech drivers, especially versions 9.04.49 and below. Many users experiencing this problem were able to fix it simply by updating their drivers. But this is not always about Logitech. Other outdated drivers or software can also cause conflicts and we are going to cover how to check for those as well. If you have not watched my earlier video, I highly recommend checking it out. The link is in the description. That video covers some solid troubleshooting steps that have already helped a lot of people. Now let's get into the solutions. Step one, check for blocked drivers first. We need to check which drivers are causing the problem. Open Windows Security by pressing the Windows key, typing Windows Security, and selecting it. Go to Device Security, then Core Isolation, and open Core Isolation Details. Try turning Memory Integrity on. If Windows blocks it, you will see a list of incompatible drivers. Look for any Logitech-related driver, such as lghidfilt.sys, logi.ss, Logitech, gaming software drivers, older Logitech, G hub drivers. If any of these are listed, you will need to remove or update them. Step two, uninstall Logitech drivers. If they are in the blocked list, open Device Manager by pressing the Windows key and X together, then selecting Device Manager from the list. Find the following categories, mice and other pointing devices, keyboards, human interface devices, also known as HID. Look for any Logitech devices. If you find one, right click on it and select uninstall device. Check the box that says delete the driver software for this device, then confirm. Restart your PC and check if memory integrity can now be turned on. If the issue is still there, move on to the next step. Step three, update Logitech drivers. If needed, if uninstalling the old drivers did not work, try updating to the latest versions. Go to Logitech's official website and download the latest drivers. Instead of using the old Logitech gaming software, install Logitech G Hub. Restart your PC and try turning memory integrity on again. Step four, manually delete Logitech driver files. If uninstallation fails, Sometimes, even after uninstalling, leftover driver files remain on your system and keep blocking memory integrity. To remove them manually, open File Explorer and go to the following location. Open the C drive, then go to the Windows folder. Inside that, find System32, then open the Drivers folder. Look for Logitech driver files such as lgshidfilt.sys, logi.sys, right click on them and select delete. You might need admin permission to do this. Restart your PC and try enabling memory integrity again. Not just Logitech, other drivers can cause issues. If you've removed or updated the Logitech drivers but memory integrity is still blocked, there's a chance that other outdated or incompatible drivers might be causing the issue. I ran into this myself recently where Tencent related drivers were the culprit. For example, I found AOWW.RVOWEX64FYATUREV.SYS, a file linked to Tencent, causing conflicts with memory integrity even though I wasn't using Logitech. This is something a lot of people might face too. If you find any similar drivers, you can easily fix it by uninstalling the associated software. In my case, I had to uninstall Tencent from the control panel and that resolved the issue for me. So if you spot any unfamiliar drivers causing problems, just follow the same process of uninstalling or updating them. Step five, enable memory integrity and test. After uninstalling conflicting software or drivers, restart your PC and check if memory integrity can now be enabled. If it works, the issue is solved. That's it, you should be good to go. Thanks for sticking with me and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you need any more tips.